Okay, so, um, just in the recent week I met with some Greenpeace activists uh, gathering followers on the street and um, yeah, I would say they are really gathering followers just like some priesthood. Uh, just what is this uh, organization about? Well, save the planet! Uh, don't use nuke and nuclear power. You know they change themselves uh, before trains heaped with <coughs> uh, nuclear waste. How? Just tell me. Someone tell me. How can you save the planet or make the um, um, surroundings cleaner with uh, stopping? Uh, extremely dangerous material in the middle of nowhere uh, right in the nature fa very far away from the safe containing places where is the logic behind this? I have no idea and this thing is uh, oh, we should uh, uh, let the animals live and nature as intended, as there would be the uh, way it is intended, not. It is just fucking is. You know why animals are dying out and planet, uh, plants and whatnot? Because we don't like them. We don't have use of them. Well. It's nothing about uh, liking them, but uh, finding use of them. Even if use means we like them, like fucking hippo in the zoo. It just looks cool, although it is one of the most dangerous animals in Africa. But we like them, so we allow them to procreate. If an animal is fucking useless, then it dies out, let's face it. There is nothing to do with that. We can't save everything. Not that I would be too happy with that, but face reality. Now, uh, with this save the nature thing, is they what they are suggest to move back to fucking farms instead of living in cities. Cities are just required. <laughs> to live in a modern society and not just because it is fucking modern society but because that is what, how we can make things work like just for an example modern medicine or cancer mm, research or I don't know massive electronic uh, availability impossible without towns yeah without the, those towns I don't mean those American towns what I would call what any European country would call village where hundred people lives but I'm talking about fucking New York where uh, 10 million people lives together or fucking more Really nonsense, uh, and so, so where would we? Th what, where would this Greenpeace thing stop? Save the Ebola. That's the next slogan. Come on, people. No. And uh, that the, the thing with the uh, atomic power. I know it is fucking not working like wind power plant or a solar plant or solar cells and whatever but let's face it nuclear power is the cleanest energy we have currently of course maybe in the future we will have something else too but let's face it how this comes out you might ask because everyone knows that nuclear power is fucking dangerous with all Hiroshima and Chernobyl and uh, what is Fukushima yeah well if you uh, let's for example try to replace it with solar cells it is like 
trying to lift the fucking stones for bridge on, on a bloody river in the middle of a city so that stone weighs what a hundred ton for example and try to lift it with your bare arm won't be efficient now if you try to replace uh, the atomic power plants with solar cells just tell one example uh, it's just take because I know just this one for circle numbers Hungary uh, it is as the stupid idiotic Greenpeace activist thing thought uh, the one nuclear power plant that has four blocks and the one is uh, only three working at the same time I think uh, provides energy for that country uh, uh, in the comparison of the war need war usage of the country's uh, all energy source is uh, 60 to 80 percent not as the stupid idiotic Greenpeace man think what it was 30 or 40 percent it is fucking double ration compared to that and well let's face it without it the country would collapse <laughs> and um, just if you tr would try to replace it with solar cells half of the country would be inhabitable because it would be covered just with bloody solar cells. You have to cut down every field and forest and every animal just because and move their plants that use uh, make pieces of that shit made of plastic and metal none of those what are renewable and so it takes more material, more effort, more place and it is fucking less efficient. So in the end it makes more trash, more garbage, more pollution. That is how nuclear power is fucking clean. And uh, now uh, I, this whole bloody concept that this renewable energy there is no such thing I mean I know since Einstein we know Newton was a fucking mistaken and the universe is a fucking closed system where matter and energy just won't fucking be destroyed so it is a fucking perpetuum mobile the thing that moves forever theoretically uh, according to the data we currently gathered but we live in a fucking open system, the planet Earth and the solar system and whatnot. So, wind is renewable energy. Fucking wind is made from fucking air, what is the fucking atmosphere of the fucking planet Earth. Uh, what it makes. What, what ma it makes the planet stop from rotating? If the planet stops rotating, there won't be any more wind. <coughs> now, well, the solar energy. The, now, <laughs> I don't really understand where this Greenpeace guy came from. The sun is like uh, we would blow up continuously billions and billions and billions atomic bomb without any control constantly. Nuclear power plants are blowing up atomic bombs in a fucking controlled circumstances and uh, what? Uh, in an um, atomic bomb there is 5 kilogram plutonium. It blows up and boom! Now in a fucking power plant it And it 
works on what for fucking months and provides energy for a whole fucking country uh, without any real area dest destruction. Now, how efficient the sun is compared to that? They're absolutely not efficient. And as it really a nuclear power plant, the <coughs> material it uses will poof stop one day. Now I asked this problem uh, from this Greenpeace guy or gal because they were all came together because I was fucking more clever than just one of them and they tried to apologize everything away. And you know what did they say? Humans do want to be here from the last 10,000 years. Then I say, why the fuck you care? Why try to slave, save the planet from humans if they will fucking disappear in the next moment? Who cares? Plants and animals will be here well, at least for a few billion, few million years, or more probably for one to billion years at least. Why this organization exists, apart from pure stupidity, and uh, how is it uh, different from a uh, priesthood? It's, it's really a religion. It's just people without ignorant people gathering together making up bullshit and spreading it and taking money for it they are really disgusting I don't say ever at every corner should be a power plant because we don't need it at every corner and I myself say that luxury cur at least currently is should be have an upper limit because we are fucking dying if you want to save the planet earth build a fucking spaceship solve the problem of interstellar travel until that we are fucking zombies who cares